السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته today I will talk about the human respiratory system uh, the human respiratory system uh, let's talk about the structure of the human respiratory system we uh, have nose respiratory system begins with nose pharynx and we have trachea and trachea is divided into two tubes they are called bronchi bronchi is a uh, plural and the singular is bronchus so each one is called bronchus each tube is called the bronchus this is bronchus and this is bronchus uh, both of them are called bronchi then the uh, bronchi each uh, bronchus will divide it into a uh, very small tubes like we see at the end of the tubes we will find uh, air th uh, air uh, sac is called the alveoli uh, this is inside the uh, two lungs this is lung and this is a lung we have here two lungs uh, the lung which um, in front of our uh, right hand is the left uh, lung and this is uh, in front of my uh, left hand this is it's called um, right uh, lungs so we have here left lung and uh, right lung and we have diaphragm uh, respiratory system uh, it, uh, it is in the chest cavity or thoracic cavity and we have abdominal cavity uh, this is the place of the digestive system we have um, and another system we have um, at the end of the respiratory system this is diaphragm diaphragm this is a muscular um, organ which separate between the chest cavity and abdominal cavity Uh, let's talk about what's meant by respiration. What's meant by respiration? We said that digestive food um, will to uh, benefit from the uh, digestive food. It must um, combine with uh, with uh, oxygen to get energy. So we eat the food uh, to get energy. So how we get energy from the digestive food? When the digested food combine with oxygen, we will get energy plus wasted. This is equation is very important. It is um, you will use it in primary four and five. Uh, so it is very important. So we eat to get energy. How this is the um, by the effect of uh, respiration or the, the rule of the respiratory system digested food will combine food will combine with the oxygen then uh, we will get energy and wastes the first organ in our respiratory uh, system it is the nose nose uh, the nose it uh, warms uh, and filter uh, we find some we have um some um uh, hair inside the uh, our uh, nose the hair which inside our nose it uh, filter the air before it enter uh, it enters into two lungs okay this is the hair okay so the nose uh, it uh, warms uh, and filter and uh, moisten the air uh, which enter to the respiratory system okay so the air now is uh, cleaned uh, or it is clean uh, to enter to our respiratory system the second organ is pharynx pharynx it is called the throat like we said uh, before it connects between the mouth and the esophagus uh, like we said also before we have larynx larynx 
Larynx is called the voice box. The voice box, like we see, it contain, it contains uh, from two vocal cords. These uh, two cords are called vocal cords. Uh, these vocal cords, when the air um, enter it, uh, these vocal cords will vibrate. Uh, will be uh, uh, will vibrate, and uh, when the air uh, passes uh, 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 passes uh, by them, uh, and by the effect of our tongue and lips. Uh, this, uh, this, uh, or these vibrations, well, um, changes into speech, and we can talk. Trachea, trachea, uh, trachea is the uh, after uh, pharynx, and it leads it to the um, two lungs and it allows to the uh, air to uh, pass uh, to uh, to the lungs and it contains from um, incomplete cartilaginous rings so like we see these are incomplete incomplete rings or cartilaginous rings this complete uh, or this incomplete um, rings uh, which keep it open all the time so we can uh, respire uh, oxygen when we play when we sleep uh, when we study all the time uh, due to the um, uh, or due to the incomplete uh, or the uh, occurrence of uh, the incomplete cartilaginous rings also inside the um, inside the uh, uh, trachea we will find uh, something is called cilia we have here inside the trachea we will find cilia like we see hmm. cilia okay if I mix zoom in on the cilia I will see it uh, what is the function of the cilia which occur inside the trachea it um, it uh, filter uh, also uh, the air and get out any strange um, object or any strange uh, bodies may uh, may enter into the track bronchi bronchi like we said uh, the trachea is divided into two or trachea uh, trachea is divided into two pipes these pipes uh, are called uh, bronchi and each one is called bronchus they carry the air uh, from the trachea to two lungs um, that we know that take the our the uh, two lungs uh, they uh, take oxygen take uh, they take oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide uh, the oxygen enters in or during the inhalation process and carbon dioxide it uh, gets out from our body during the exhalation process Like we know that digested food plus oxygen burning inside the cell, we will get energy plus wastes. Okay, so ex uh, oxygen. Where is the oxygen comes, or where um, the oxygen comes from? Uh, 
uh, the oxygen comes from the or during the inhalation process so it will uh, pass or it will pass uh, from uh, from the nose to the trachea uh, then to bronchi or uh, bronchus uh, bronchiolus uh, then alveoli then alveoli okay um, we have um, uh, something is called blood capillaries they um, occur uh, or they um, occur uh, around the alveoli uh, the blood capillaries which occur uh, around the alveoli they um, blood capillaries they carry oh, they carry blood like we see okay inside the blood what will happen when the digested food now digested food and oxygen they uh, combine together and will get energy and wastes from the wastes uh, we have something is called carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is a harmful substance that your body must get out from it the carbon dioxide which uh, occur inside the blood will um, move uh, or pass from the blood capillaries which occur around the alveoli and enter to the alveoli so now we have exchange between gases the oxygen will enter the alveoli and carbon dioxide will go out from the alveoli so oxygen will go uh, in uh, to the uh, alveoli during the inhalation process and carbon dioxide will go out from the alveoli through the exhalation process carbon dioxide will uh, pass from the alveoli get out from alveoli then bronchiolus then bronchus then trachea then get out from the nose uh, through exhalation process this is the way how the oxygen enters uh, in and how the carbon dioxide get out uh, from our body so inside the alveoli we have exchange between gases oxygen and carbon dioxide oxygen enters through inhalation process and carbon dioxide uh, go out or breathe out from the exhalation process uh, this is about alveoli okay uh, let's talk about the um, last uh, port it is uh, or the last or the most important uh, organ which is the diaphragm which help us inhalation and exhalation process this is how I want to know how okay let's uh, see this video <laughs> This putter represented the um, our chest cavity, and here we have two balloons. Each one or both of them represent the uh, two lungs, and we have here trachea. We have two bronchi. And what about the part of the wrapper which okay inside or at the end of or it uh, which okay at the bottom of the uh, bottle? Uh, it is uh, represent the diaphragm so we have we have here diaphragm diaphragm and here two lungs we have two uh, bronchi and we have trachea and what will happen uh, I will uh, move the diaphragm uh, down and up when I move the diaphragm or when the diaphragm uh, moves uh, down uh, the volume of the two lungs increase and the air will enter to our uh, due to the entrance of the oxygen inside two lungs when the diaphragm moves up the air which occur inside two lungs this is the air it is carbon dioxide will go out from two lungs uh, through exhalation process so here we have inhalation with the diaphragm moves down exhalation with the diaphragm moves up 
let's see the video so like we see that the volume of the uh, two lungs increase when uh, the diaphragm moves uh, down during the inhalation process and when the diaphragm moves uh, up um, the air which occur inside the two lungs will pressed out uh, pressed out this is the carbon dioxide and what about the size of the two lungs it will decrease okay let's talk about uh, how to keep our respiratory system healthy uh, we must avoid the crowded places uh, direct contact to the cold uh, eat fruit uh, fruit uh, which are rich in vitamin c like orange guava uh, to protect ourselves from the uh, common uh, cold stop smoking and avoid the uh, to be passive smokers or we when uh, stay with uh, or uh, uh, or uh, beside anyone smoke this is passive smokers uh, because the uh, smoking leads to the uh, cancer and causes the uh, this and this is the end of our respiratory system and uh, thank you for all